I wanted to record a really quick video to show how to use paper space. Uh, so I've demoed this a bunch in class, but I also know that I go through it pretty quickly. Uh, so I'm gonna try to go through a little bit slower now, um, just to give everyone uh, a simple understanding of how to log into the machine, um, how to use it in a terminal, how to turn it on, how to turn it off, uh, those sort of things. So really quickly, uh, log into your Paperspace account. Um, I'm already logged in, uh, but you can just go to paperspace.com and then I think at the top right, there's a button that says log in, you log in there. Uh, that should, when you log in there, that'll launch you to the console. But if you end up on this page, you can just click this button, go to the console. Now for some of you, uh, you might not see the machines immediately in here. So if you go to core and then compute and then machines, uh, there should be a zero of one for you. Uh, so for me, like I have multiple accounts, so um, I, or I have multiple machines, so you should only have one here. For some of you, you might come to this first ex first screen and not see anything. Uh, in that case, you should probably hover over your private workspace. Some of you will have a private workspace. Some of you will have SSHH. Uh, for reasons I won't get into, it was a little tricky to like create machines on everyone's workspace uh, using the credits code. Um, so. For some of you, you'll have to click around a little bit. It might be in SSHH, it might be in your private workspace. Uh, if you switch to there, uh, it'll say it switches. You'll see I have no machines in this account. If I go back to my private workspace, I've got a machine in here. So the next thing you wanna do is uh, you wanna turn on one of these machines, right? So when they're grayed out, that means none of them are working. The way to turn on a machine is to go to the settings icon up here. If you just click on this thing, that's gonna log you into the desktop view, which is for most of you not what you want. So you wanna click on the little settings icon here. That's gonna take you to a new page. This is the page that describes your machine. The next thing you wanna do is you just wanna hit start. So this is gonna start up your machine. Um, like I've said before, what it does, it creates a little virtual server, uh, installs some software for you already. Um, you already have the software you've installed you needed. Uh, it just gets everything up and running. It's for like turning on, it's like turning on your laptop. It takes a little while to run, to get running. It's gonna say it's on and ready, uh, but it will not actually be ready to log into via terminal just yet. Uh, I just know it takes a little bit of time. But there are some things you can do while, while you're waiting for this to get set up. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna um, grab your public IP address, right? So if you have a public IP address, which all of you should, uh, you'll see a line here that says public IP. When you hover over this number, you're gonna get uh, this little icon here. So when you click on that, that's gonna copy this to your, to your uh, pasteboard. So I'm gonna give this a shot to log into now. So the next thing you wanna do is you just wanna load up Terminal. Um, so for most of you who are running on Macs already have this, you just open it up. That's gonna lead you to this page. The command you wanna type in to get access to your machine is the following. So you do SSH paper space at and then your public IP address so just copy and paste it when you hit enter it's gonna ask you for a password now most of you have already been or actually all of you should already have that password it's been emailed to you um, I don't have those passwords so unfortunately I can't help you with that you're gonna have to dig up the email that paper space sent you that includes the password in it so the next thing to remember is so I've grabbed my password from my account the next thing to remember is that when you paste your password into the terminal, nothing is gonna show up. So you're gonna think like, oh, I didn't actually put in a password, but you did. So just hit Command C, Command V, paste it in there, and then hit Return. Now you're logged into your Paperspace account. So from here, you can do whatever you need to do, right? So like, let me just check out and see what's on my desktop. So if I hit LS, that's gonna show me everything that's installed on that machine. Um, I can CD into, say, Neural Style. And again, remember that uh, you can start typing out the, the folder you wanna move into, then hit tab, and that is gonna like auto-complete that folder name for you. Hit enter, and now I'm inside that. So it's important to remember that while you're logged in, your machine is running. So it's charging you, in this case, 78 cents a minute, or 78 cents an hour. Um, so while your machine is on in this blue state, your machine is being, you're being charged that money. Uh, it may not um, appear immediately in your uh, billing account, but you are being charged for it. So the way to turn it off is to hit shut down. Um, now the restart button is if say you're trying to do something in the terminal uh, and it doesn't seem to be working right. Uh, once you talk to me, you may find out that like we just need to restart your machine. 
So hitting restart will just restart it. Hitting shutdown will turn off your machine. It will not destroy your machine. All of your work will essentially be saved, but you will not be getting charged by paper space. So when I'm done, I'm gonna hit shutdown. It also takes a while to shut these things down. Okay, so now your machine is off. See how it says off up here? It's still spinning, it's just finishing up. Now I know it's off. Uh, the way to make sure that it's off um, when I go back to my machines is I'll find that this is all gray. And that's everything you need to know about paper space, uh, just in terms of getting into it. Uh, in the next couple weeks, I'll show you how to like actually do and write commands into it. Uh, but for the moment, that should be everything. Let me know if you have any questions.